Mountainside Service Center. We've been in business since 2016. My name's Henry, and this is Kenny, the technician, is going to be working on this. Got a 2011 Dodge Challenger, 3.6 liter Pentastar engine, and looking to install a Baxter Performance adapter for the oil filter. And uh, we're going to dive in this thing, see what we got. So what do you see in these 3.6? You do a lot of Jeeps and other vehicles that have these Pentastars and the vans. What do you see in happening in these uh, we, Pentastars? We do. We see the we see the camshafts wearing out a lot. Uh, a lot of times due to uh, oiling problems or even just a rocker arm roller locking down wears the camshaft out. Open this up. This Dodge Challenger has been sitting for about five days with no start, dry, no oil in the housing. The Baxter performance adapter uh, and allows it to have oil on hand as soon as the engine's cranked. That's one of the most critical parts is we're losing all the oil down back into the oil pan and the Baxter performance keeps oil up in the filter so that we have a reserve right there on hand. You will have to cut this pressure relief out of the original housing. So if you'll take a pair of snips, angled snips, cut this down just below the spring uh, at the next section and make sure you don't drop any shards or anything down inside the filter housing. Once you get that nip back, then your Baxter Performance Adapter is ready to uh, seat into place. And you'll probably want the valve at about, you know, when it's all the way down, uh, the first opportunity as you turn it clockwise, counterclockwise, that first port that comes to the three o'clock position is probably where you're yeah. going to want to be up there. If it seats all the way down. It's fully probably. bottomed out there? It's fully okay. bottomed out right there. And, oh, and hey, that looks out. like it's going to work fully bottomed out. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that's fully bottomed out without any O-ring on it. Yeah, okay, so that's where you're gonna end up again, bottomed out and everything, so you're gonna put the plug on the opposite yeah, side. Put the plug on this side. Yep, so the orientation is one which the the cleat screw is at the Baxter logo, so you're gonna do it to the that same orientation to the left, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, and it's okay to use uh, Teflon tape on the plug uh, if you wish to. It's only going to be uh, like two wraps on the plug if you choose to do that. Oil is fine. You just got to make sure it's torqued in there nice and tight. Okay. The aluminum body is sacrificial to the steel component, so. We just want to make sure that no Teflon tape is over the end of the plug. And you want to tighten that in there pretty good. It's going to come really close to a support boss on that. On the intake manifold, um, that intermediate one, looks like it's going to be fine. You can use engine oil, but if you have like Sil Glide or some silicone type of lubricant, it's fine to use on it. It's Viton seal, so it won't break down. Vaseline even works for that. Engine oil works out fine too, um, especially in higher temperatures. And as it goes in, we just want to make sure that the O-ring's not pinched. And, and you're going to have to use the, uh, the one inch deep socket. not destroy those threads on the, uh, the so-called plastic is actually glass reinforced nylon so you can cinch it down pretty good there moving when you uh, apply the oil filter or take it off right you want to make sure if you can turn that with your hand it's not tight enough it, like so I would probably try to move the, the adapter with your hand Teflon on it at all. It's just like the plug. The plug threads. But you don't need to put a Teflon on that one? You don't have to because you can get a lot of torque on it. The aluminum sacrificial to the steel of the, the 90 degree fitting, so it should seal in there. But you want it in there nice and tight, for sure. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you can get another turn on that thing, I suggest you do it. All right, so after the completion of the Baxter Performance uh, Adapter, make sure that you uh, crank the vehicle, check for leaks, run it up to temperature, make sure you don't, don't have any oil leaks, and uh, make sure your oil pressure is up to uh, proper specs.